G'day, Sammy here. For many years, users of Business Central have used the Cash Receipt Journal to record monies received from customers. And that's great and that's fine and it's a robust system. But recently, a newer and more streamlined approach to receiving customer monies has been developed by Microsoft. It's called the Register Customer Payments. So let's have a look. So here we are inside Business Central, inside the Cash Receipt Journal, which people have been using for years and years and years, and it's stable and it's reliable and it's good. We can record here that the Alpine Ski House has decided to pay invoice number, let's say invoice number 85, and flag it as okay, and there's the amount it puts there. People have been using this inside Business Central for years and years and years. It's reliable, it's stable, it's good, it's wonderful. But now there is an alternative. Let's have a look. So let's go into Register Customer Payments. Register Cust Pay. We'll open Register Customer Payments. What we're seeing here are all the open invoices, credits, reminders, etc., for all the customers within the business. And as we know in Business Central, open typically means unpaid. There is everything there. Now at any stage, I can inquire about the contents of an invoice. What's this one? It's always useful if the figures are unfamiliar to you, or if a customer is querying the details. We'll show related entries. School of Fine Art, thank you. And I can certainly see that it's for some furniture that we've bought. So if I know the customer's paid the invoice, I go over there, payment made, done. Just tick the box. Notice how date received and amount received are automatically populated. Tick some more. Tick some more. Whenever we know it's been paid. And if we've made a mistake, just untick it. It's as easy as that. They've paid this amount, but if they've partially paid, simply type in the amount received. You don't have to tick the box, it'll tick it for you. The system will tell you if there's a payment discount applicable. My work date is after the payment discount date, so it's telling me that I'm not eligible for any other discounts. All that's left to do is to post it. Post the payments, and away we're done. Now, there are some other ways, of course, in Business Central to record customer receipts, but this model is so simple and so powerful and so quick. It really is a great way for you to achieve more with your technology. Until next time, Cheers.